<laughs> All right, Lauren. Okay, so, okay, when in the world is this cold? <laughs> I was just, I walked in today. I was like, Lauren, I was freezing to death this week. That's all I, that's all I can it's say. It's so, cr it's just I got crazy no cold. I was out and about in the city last night, and I was just laughing because the wind's just hitting you, and it's just like, <sighs> it's this brutal. is ridiculous. But, again, it isn't really a laughing matter and dangerous cold, yeah. especially the Poconos and up towards the Lehigh Valley, but it's just absurd. It's 14 degrees right now in Philadelphia. West winds up around 15 miles per hour. It feels like one below and the sun didn't set that long ago. We still have to get through the entire overnight period. Our high temperature today, 16 degrees. Our low temperature this morning, seven near a record low. The record low four set back in the 1800s. And yes, this cold air remaining entrenched, at least for now. We are going to start to warm things up, though, but it's zero in the Poconos, 10 in Redding, and this cold Arctic air has engulfed the eastern half of the United States. Our temperature right now in Florida, Jacksonville, it's 39. It's 30 in Charleston, 34 in Atlanta. Just unbelievable temperatures. And checking in live on our neighborhood network, Kutztown, Eight above sinking spring, nine above Milford at 10 degrees right now. And our overnight low, the forecast, two. That's it. One, two. And that would break the record low temperature of four set back in 2014. And yes, dealing with this dangerous cold, frostbite is possible on exposed skin and in as little as 30 minutes. So be aware of that if you are out and about on this Saturday night. Be aware of stinging, numb skin, and or red skin, even pale skin. And remember, alcohol intake causes Bonnie to lose heat. It also makes you feel warmer than you actually are. So Take it easy on the adult beverages if you're heading out into the cold. Snow so far this season, we are up almost to 13 inches in Philadelphia, about eight inches above our two average, two date average. And we don't have snow in the forecast. We do have a wintry mix as we head into Monday. That could present its own problem. Storm Scan 3 showing us, though, quiet conditions right now. But you notice how this cloud cover is developing as this air moves over the ocean. That's because the ocean at around freezing is warmer than the air. So we get this condensation and these clouds to form whenever you see that kind of visual on the satellite imagery that indicates it's very cold and we know that. So looking forward into Monday, we do start to warm temperatures up, but right around freezing and they're going to hover around freezing as we head throughout the evening and overnight period. So we could see some freezing rain developing kind of patchy in nature, especially during the evening hours. At this point, timing looks like after the commute. So good news there could see some periods of snow mixing in and maybe some light accumulation possible. But when it comes to ice, even if you have very little amounts accumulating that will create very slick conditions. So future weather showing us it's going to be snow as it moves into the Poconos and the Lehigh Valley. Again, just dealing with areas of precipitation, maybe not too widespread, fairly light in intensity, but watching out for this band of possibly freezing rain as we head into the late evening hours on Monday, Monday night and into early Tuesday. Looks like down the shore we will see mainly rain, but we could see some times of light freezing rain during the overnight period before that does start to clear out as we head into Tuesday morning. So the timing not looking too bad, but of course still can generate some very slick conditions. So stay tuned to that evolving forecast overnight tonight. Mostly clear record cold down to two degrees. Our high temperature tomorrow, 19 degrees, plenty of sunshine, less wind, but check that out. 33 on Monday heat wave 44 on Tuesday. We're at 40 near average on Wednesday. Yes, average is 40 degrees. And as we look ahead towards Thursday, that says 52 degrees. 58 on Friday with rain looking likely oh, wow. and the Eagles playoff forecast whew, looking a little challenging. Front's going to uh. drop through on that day. Will it drop through early or later in the day? It's going to depend on if it's going to be cold or wet. Could you, could you make sure it's earlier? In the yeah. Day? <laughs> <laughs> Leslie's, got, Leslie's got a request. Just, saying, just put it out there. <laughs> Thank you. So well, you know what? Yeah, uh, one degree tonight, two degrees. Was, yeah, I'm definitely close. not winning the weather lottery. Oh, it's a nightmare. I know. The t uh, the wind chill temperatures drop sub freezing, and it's just like, oh, all right. Like, <laughs> if like, that had happened normally, like one time, we would all be freaking out, and now we're like, yeah, we're used to so, it. Yeah, whatever, man. We're getting hardier <laughs> as the days go Clearly. on. But yeah, right now, wind chill temperature down to three below in Philadelphia. 11 degrees the air temperature right now as we get a live look at I think it's Philadelphia although I feel like our latitude has moved much farther north northwesterly winds at around 10 miles per hour inducing that feels like temperature our high temperature today as we talked about at the top of the show only 16 degrees setting a record our low this morning almost at a record seven the record four set back 
in the 1800s. That's a long time ago. Temperatures right now, 11 in Philly, 7 in Allentown, 3 below in Mount Pocono. And this cold, bitter Arctic air has engulfed half of the country and plunge as far south as the Florida Peninsula. 32 degrees right now in Jacksonville, 27 in Atlanta, 24 in Charleston, South Carolina. And we have single digits on the board, four in Bethlehem, five in Princeton, currently six degrees in Sinking Spring. And when you wake up tomorrow morning, whew, it's going to be cold. Thankfully, it's Sunday. Just hang in, drink that hot cup of coffee. Seven below in Mount Pocono, zero in Allentown, waking up to one below in Redding, one below in Millville, waking up to two in Philadelphia, that would break a record low temperature. The previous record four set back in 2014. So headed down into record territory once again. And with these type wind chills down around 15, 20, 25, even 30 below, frostbite can form on exposed skin in as little as 30 minutes. So you still, even though we've been dealing with this now for the better part of a week and a half plus, you really need to bundle up and prepare. Be aware of stinging, numbing skin, those symptoms, red skin. And of course, alcohol intake can cause your body to lose heat and make you feel like you are warmer. So take it easy on that survival beer if you're heading out and about tonight. Snowfall so far this season in Philadelphia over 12 and a half inches or about eight inches above our two date average. No snow right now though falling storm scan three just clear sky conditions, but that's going to induce the colder temperatures as we head throughout the overnight period. But we do have the potential for a wintry mix mainly in the form of freezing rain as we head into Monday temperatures rebound to near Three freezing 32 degrees, but again, that could cause some freezing rain in spots, maybe a little bit of snow mix and some light accumulation as possible when it comes to freezing rain, though, even a very little bit can cause big problems on the roadway. So future weather showing us as we head into Monday afternoon, it will be mainly all snow, light intensity, Poconos, Lehigh Valley, Berks County as it nears the I-95 corridor. We'll likely see freezing rain, some pockets of snow, and then as it pushes towards South Jersey, the shore, freezing rain and then mainly rain along the immediate coastline as we head into the second half of the evening on Monday and then all of this wraps up Monday night and by our Tuesday morning commute. But stay tuned to that evolving forecast. Mostly clear record cold tonight down to two degrees for the day tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine frigid once again. Then the warming trend begins. We're up to 44 degrees heat wave on Tuesday, 40 on Wednesday with a lot of sunshine. We are up to 52 degrees by Thursday, making a run at 60 degrees by Friday. Looking wet and then Saturday is a day to watch a front will drop through. So Eagles forecast still up in the air. And Leslie's ears perked up immediately. Yes. Like, Why okay, couldn't we, we move the 58 cool to, the to Saturday? <laughs> yeah.